Hi, welcome back. I hope that you're having a great day. I'm going to do a box opening of my boxy charm. This is October 2019's, yes, 2019, uh, boxy charm. Uh, this is my favorite beauty subscription subscription because I like to get the full products. I think you get a good deal. Now I haven't figured out the amount. I will say the prices and I'll add up everything down below in the description bar and, or section and you can see for yourself if it was worth it. But nine times out of ten I find BoxyCharm really is a good deal. Now I just have the regular BoxyCharm. I know they have some kind of Boxy Deluxe. I got the paper um, and it says the introducing the bigger boxy charm a beauty box with over 175 for only $35 I might try that but I'm really happy with the regular ones so I might stay with that for a while now instead of the like cardboard where they say the the what they sent you it's a like hard paper and that's fine actually when I opened it up I didn't think that it had the products and the price and even though I got the products it was a little disappointing because I like to look at how much the products cost versus what I pay for it because this this is like $29.99 I'm, uh, I'm forgetting now I'm getting like a brain fart uh, I'll put it down below. I think it's like $30 a month, $20 a month. I can't remember at the moment. Okay, so this month's theme is After Dark. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is something that I'm pretty happy about because I've been wanting to try this brand and I love the colors, hopefully. Well, I love the description of the colors. It's a eye palette and I like these size eye palettes because they're great for travel uh, they're great for storage came in bubble wrap and this is by dose of colors and I have never tried anything from dose of colors I've seen them in Ulta but I just didn't pick anything up this is the marvelous mobs and it's an eyeshadow palette now I can be a uh, a sucker sorry for packaging and this is really really pretty I love that it's mauve I love that it has like a little shiny effect and you can see my light from my mirror and then the back I really like how they show you the names I mean I use palettes that don't ha have the names on the shadows but I prefer them especially if you're doing a tutorial or you're telling somebody what shadow you you use it's better to have the name there instead of saying okay it's the pink one third from the right or whatever you know so this is the marvelous mob mobs by dose of color it's a five pan matte eyeshadow which that's pretty cool uh, I will probably add my own little shimmer maybe like my lower lid there because I like a little bit but you never know I'll try doing a look this is sold for $32 and let's open it up and see what it looks like oh it's really pretty that is what it looks like and it has a nice mirror attached but I won't show it it comes with a cute little brush oh this is nice yeah this is a really nice brush for you know some of the the palettes the brushes are just really not good quality but this is very nice you could probably do a whole look with this one okay you have these colors here from very light and then till dark dark too dark it says that it's cruelty free paraben free and talc free like all those three so I cannot wait to try this I think I will swatch it on my hand now this dark color feels very like creamy too I have a little bruise there and then a, um, a, a swatch from the last video I did. So I'll do it on my arm. This is the darkest color. Oh, that's a nice pigment. And this is called Wine Stain. 
Then the second darkest color, I, they feel creamy. It's, it's weird. They're matte, but creamy. That's really pretty. That is spaced out. And then the next one is called, I'm reading upside down, Wishy Washy. And let me get a finger that's clean. Yeah, I can't get over how when you touch the pan, they feel creamy. Now from the camera, it looks like these two are very similar, but let me look. Now this one here is, is much lighter than the middle one. Okay, and now we're gonna go for the second lightest. Put it there. That's a pretty color. And then the very lightest might be a little chalky. No, it actually went on good. Now I know there's a difference in texture from my arm to my eyelids, but I like this and I can't wait to give it a look. I really like um, mobs and purples. They're my favorite. And I'm glad to get a palette that even though I'm wearing like orange and stuff, I'm glad to get a palette that's not all that. Right, let me try to rub it off just with my vintage hanky and somebody's probably going, oh my God, but I use these all the time. And uh, this came from uh, a great aunt of mine and I have a ton of them and they wash really nice. Well, pretty good, but I still see a little bit of stain. So that's good. That tells me there's some stain power to this. And in the back of the packaging or the box, it shows you the colors too. So that's really great. I like that. And I did say the price of that. I think that was 32. So I will let you know how I like it and do some type of uh, look. The next thing here is the Pretty Filter Glock glassy skin balm hmm let me read about this this is by touch a soul touch insole which is a actually a Korean brand I find it interesting that they use the word soul which is the word Sun in Spanish but hey if we have infused foods why not infuse languages so let's see, this is the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glass Skin Balm. It's an ultra hydrating priming skin balm with a sensibly smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. I think this one, I will probably give it to my niece because she has drier skin. My skin is, um, it's combination oilier in the T-zone T zone, and kind of just normal to dry in the cheeks, but I have some texture and some milia that I'm trying to work on getting rid of. Um, I don't have any magical touch, but I use Retin-A and I've been focusing it on my cheeks and then here where I'm getting a little bit of smile lines, but you age and you know, aging is, um, it can be hard sometimes going off on a tangent but that's okay it can be hard sometimes but you know I'd rather age than the opposite uh, I, I know few people in my life that I've been very close to that weren't privileged to live as long as I have and so I'll take it um, let me see it has an expiration date which is really good I'm gonna open it up, but not touch it, just to see what it looks like. So I think I'll give this to her because I think she would really like it and she has really beautiful textured skin and she can play around with it. Oh, that is really weird. You think this is the top. Oh, no, you wouldn't think it's a top. This is the top, pretty filter glass skin balm, but then when you open it, it's like a deep thing. Yeah, I don't really wanna touch it, but it looks like a thick cream and I will see what she has to say about it. So that's one thing that I'm gonna give away, but that's fine. Now this costs $32. So just in one product, I've already, you know, spend less than what it costs. All right, I think this is the lip gloss. Yes, it's by Iconic London. Never heard of that brand. 
And of course they have the little tiniest writing. And now I have a contact lens that is my reading, reading one, but I still can't read that. Uh, not contact. This video is like all over the place. Um, when I had cataract surgery, I have a lens implant in this side that's for reading and this for long distance. Okay. What it has to do with this box, I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is the Iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss. And it's supposed to be non-sticky and plumping power. And the price of this is $26. I will probably use this as a topper because this is on a light for me. I like more of a darker or bolder lipstick or lip gloss. Let me smell it. It has a faint, like a faint smell, but I like that doe foot, the way it's shaped. You can see that. I don't know what that smell is, but it's very, very faint. But I will keep this and use it as a nice lip topper. Okay, next thing is Jeanne Bleu. <laughs> That's the company, and I probably botched that. This is a lip liner, and it's in, my voice went up. Uh, 935 dark natural now I don't use a lot of lip liners but I will keep it because sometimes I like to play around and see how my lips look with the lip liner now this is a uh, lip liner only cost $5 it's supposed to be long-lasting base for any lip color uh, used for flawless contour and yes it's by a company called Jean Te Bleu part of me if my French was horrible. Okay, and the last, I think the last thing, because sometimes I hide things on the bottom. The last thing is the Cleansing Spa Water by Kojendo. And I like these type of things to like stick in my bag um, if I'm going to be changing my makeup, which I usually don't do, but like if it gets too hot and I want to freshen up and take my makeup off before I get home because I'm sweating, you know, it's Menopause is lovely. It gives you all these beautiful uh, What I'm trying to think of a hot flash what it's called there we go and Also um, Sometimes I like to use these as like a first cleanser. I used to use the uh, these type of wipes and different brands as the only cleanser, but I find it really doesn't really clean my skin and take off the makeup as well as I like it. So I will use it either as a first cleanser or I'll put it in my bag on a day that I'm going to be out for a long time to kind of freshen up, even if I just like kind of wipe my neck off or whatever. So uh, I look forward to trying that. So that is all that I got in my box, but I'm pretty happy with it. I didn't get an eyeliner, which is great, because I usually get an eyeliner in every box. And uh, I enjoyed this very much. I hope that you liked seeing my little video about the October Boxy Charm. And if you don't subscribe to Boxy Charm, I highly recommend it because even though I'm giving my niece two of the products, just getting this palette, I paid less for it than it is in the stores, and I dropped my makeup brush, but that's okay. I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you soon. Take care of yourselves, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.